You guys are not going to believe this, but I am going to run out of gas again, and I don't have enough money to buy gas. <laughs> so I am going to stop at this dumpster, and I am going to pray <laughs> to the dumpster gods that there is gasoline in here, because we've gotten gas before, and I really need- Oh my god, it's nothing but poop! It's- it's a dumpster full of poop! <laughs> so, now I have no gas, and I'm sad! Oh my god, this episode will not get off my nuts. I can't believe this. So, do I just abandon the car? I, I can drive for like another few seconds, maybe. No! What's up, guys? and Welcome back to Border Officer. And for today's episode, I'm a little worried that one of my family members might die. Like, it turns out, eating nothing but cold beans and sleeping on a cold floor all the time isn't all that good for someone's health. Like, they keep getting sick and needing medicine on top of food and fuel and rent, and I only have $10, which is just enough to get me into the strip club today. And I know that sounds bad, but I, I have my reasoning, okay? Hear me out. I don't know whether or not a family member dying would lead to a game over. Like, if anything, it would be a bit of a relief, right? But I know for a fact that if my happiness gets too low, I will die from depression in my sleep, and that will be a game over. And if the only thing that makes me happy is drinking in titties, then it's not entirely unreasonable that I let my son starve to death so I can go to the strip club. It just sounds bad. You met a hitchhiker on the way. He wants to go to the border. He says he'll pay for it. Offered money $11. I'll take it. I desperately need it. No matter how much you're going to cough and burp and fart on my neck. How do you even fart on somebody's neck? I shouldn't leave the car idling as I ask you stupid questions. We need to move. I'm also pretty sure that I don't have a spare tire in this car anymore. So if we blow a tire, my family's going to die. There's really no easy way of putting it. I need to get to work. I need to earn money. I need to have a good day at work. That SCP job really needs to come sooner rather than later. We're almost there, dude. Only a few more seconds. Please don't... What? Oh, I'm out of gas? No, no. Okay, hold on. Well, hold on tight, buddy. We're gonna coast into the gas station. <sighs> That's not the kind of gas we need. Oh, is that close enough? As I promised, the money is yours. Okay, thank you. I'll, uh... Can, can I take, take, take the money? I did not just have a tire blow. I did not just have a tire blow. Um, how do I take, take the money, take the money. Okay, just get out, just get the hell out. <laughs> and my happiness went down. <laughs> I'm gonna die in my sleep. Oh, please tell me that that was him and not my back tire. Could I be any more unlucky? Let me guess, I'm too far away to gas up right now. Oh no, okay, we got a little ray of sunshine there. I got a uh, full fuel, right? We'll, we'll gas up. Now I just need to buy a tire and, and hope that my family doesn't starve to death. Hey, you got any tires for under 10 bucks? How much for this? Nine bucks, great. <laughs> Leave me with a little something. Oh. You're lucky you're rocking tinted windows today, buddy, or so help me God, I will be hopping in through them. Get the frick out of my way! <laughs> I can't even change my tire! <laughs> Come on! Oh, uh, please, please. Hold on, what if I, uh... There we go, perfect. So I spent my life savings on gasoline and a spare tire, but I still need engine oil and antifreeze. The game is literally making me choose between my car, my family, and the strip club. And I feel like I made the wrong choice. I should have just walked to the strip club. That's lovely dirt. Did I just break my neck stepping out of the car? Is that my luck? No, we're good. <gasps> oh, I couldn't have walked to the strip club, right? Because I don't have any energy. Which means today is gonna be a super productive day at work. Do I? Yeah, you know what? Let's just chug an energy drink. Screw it. Announcement. A big epidemic began. Turn back anyone who doesn't wear a mask. Viva Stavronska. What is with my luck today? I've already lost my life savings. I've already got my family potentially dying. And now I get to work at a disease hotspot. That's just... Great, who do I need to keep an eye out? Because there's clearly been criminals coming through here. Azarov Ivanovich 
and Kresimir. Yeah, I'm sure I'll remember all of those. Okay, anybody who comes in without a mask, I'm just gonna arrest them and have them shot. If they cough on me, do you think the Friday coffee guy had it? No, right, they're not sick in Stavronska yet. Hopefully not that damn hitchhiker. Oh, who are you? You don't have a mask. Please, please don't breathe. Nice shorts. You have a cigar, what's your deal? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I do not understand your language. Uh, how, how, anyway, I'm checking the papers. Mama. Weird. Oh, yeah. Migration. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really matter because you're not wearing a mask. Makes my life easier. Okay, That's see you problem. later. Just keep smoking that cigar instead of coughing all over me. <laughs> That's right, right? I'm not losing my mind? I'm constantly second-guessing myself. It's probably the epidemic setting in. Couldn't we put a sign outside saying, like, anybody without a mask, go away? It'd make my life so much easier. Hey, what are you up to? This place is full of sick people. Most of them don't wear a mask. I came to work. I'm a construction worker. How long is the validity? One year. Oh, right. We still have all the rules from last time. All right, then. So these are gonna take me a second to go through. Uh, is that a country? Lenin, hold on a second, that looks a little sketchy. Oh no, that's actually a country. Those to show what I know, that's right next to Stavronska. Work permit is in order, construction worker one year, vaccination for hepatitis A, hepatitis B, AIDS, no cholera. No cholera. You know what? We can't be having any cholera in here, even if you're wearing a mask. You know what? Doesn't matter. You need a mask on your butthole, too. Vaccination mask. I'll see you later. <laughs> Please tell me that's right. I gotta keep asking the computer if I'm right, okay? I gotta be firm in my judgment. I am always right. I am Stavronska. Viva me! Come to think of it, with all the bad things that keep happening, why don't we just close down the border? Ooh. Hey, you're lucky 70% of people are unemployed. What the purpose of your visit? Migration. You look familiar. What was your name? Ivanovich? Mm-hmm. Okay, just gonna verify real quick, Mr. Ivanovich. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep, just a second. Making sure that last name. Yep, that's the same weird last name. I'm just gonna press this little red button and, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, you're, you're not hearing anything right now. Everything is fine. <laughs> Fred, you gotta be a little quicker, man. I can't keep pandering to these guys, just trying to make a back and forth, keeping them busy. Okay, take them out back, shoot them, do your typical thing, I know. <laughs> I'm doing good, though. I spotted the criminal. He, he kind of stood out, even though he was wearing a mask. Kind of makes the whole... That'd be the whole shooting thing. Kind of makes the whole passport picture thing kind of irrelevant, right? You think you would... Uh, Want them to take the mask off. But no, actually no, I don't want to be coughed on, I'm good. What, what, oh, oh, we got a runner! We got a runner! We got a, hold on, hold on. We got to get this and load, load the bullets. Uh, we're, get out of the way, get out of the way! Get out of the way, okay. Maybe you could shoot him? I got him, I got him. Man, they are not paying Fred enough. What, what were you saying? Uh, we start a revolution, two important men will arrive tomorrow. Let them in, your studies will be appreciated. Oh no, no, the end is approaching. No, the SCP people came and I didn't even see what you, can you please repeat yourself? <laughs> I was busy shooting a man over your shoulder. Something about two important men will come tomorrow, but I, that's all I got, I need names. Unless it's only gonna be two men showing up or maybe they'll identify themselves somehow. I don't know. I really wanna see what's gonna go on with the whole SCP thing, but you're making it difficult. It just dawned on me that I shot that guy in front of a tipped over truck. <laughs> so maybe I don't need to talk to my floor supervisor about the guards being lazy. People here just uh, seem to have it rough. Documents, here. What the purpose of your visit? Work, I'm a watch repairer. How long is the validity? Six months, are you sure you're a watch repairer? That was a pretty neat little magic trick. You kind of spat all this stuff out your hands. Uh, Kresnoyev? Okay, so we do have a Kresnoyev permit. That's important. Numbers do seem to match up. Name matches up. Okay, so that's fine. Watch repair, six months. Name matches up. Name does not match up. Tough titties, man. You know what? It only takes one wrong thing, and then you're out the door. 
<laughs> I'm getting good at it. I gotta say, I'm, I'm. As soon as I start to tout my own success, I can't pick up the passport. I can't pick up the freaking passport. Are you kidding? Hold on here. Take, take this, and take this, and take this, take this, and then. Okay, you know what? I want to arrest you so bad. Um, I think I can go into my computer and re-upload. Is that? There we go. That makes total sense. Well, I serviced about half a dozen people today, and two people got shot. So overall, productive day. And now with the tough questions. Do we want medicine for my mother-in-law or oil for my car? Can't I give oil to my mother-in-law? Wouldn't that solve all problems? It's only six bucks, right? I clearly gotta go with that. <laughs> Maybe she can hold out for another day and then I can work again. Why am I asking you? You don't give a crap. <laughs> I'm also gonna need another tire. Uh, risky, but we really don't have much of a choice. Let's see if I can get some of these fluids in here. Uh, top you up, good. Top you up. Good, okay, car is in full working order. Everything should be fine. I could drop this in the trunk. Oh, I completely forgot that I had food and coal in the trunk of my car. And I have worms and hay. I need to remember to feed my animals. Who may have milk and eggs for me when I get home. That's promising, right? We could sell those to the pawn shop, make a little money. I'm not closing your door, okay? That's your own problem, Viva Stavonska. Here, chicken, 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 here, cow. Oh. Yeah, my cow might have wanted that food a little sooner. Huh? Yeah, we're not getting any milk from that cow. <laughs> oh, damn it, chickens. Wow, what am I gonna do with the worm in the hay now? <gasps> oh, you're gonna be kidding me. Maybe I could just feed it to my mother-in-law? Come to think of it, if I talk to you at all, I'm pretty sure it'll kill me. Literally, when I talk to her, it makes me unhappy, and I have very little happiness left to give, even after having a few bedtime beers. Maybe one more bedtime beer. These are the only things that help me wake up in the morning, okay? <laughs> and even if I wake up hungover, at least I wake up. Just gonna go to sleep. Don't know where my wife is. Never came home from work. It's concerning. Okay, we didn't... What do you mean, escaped? <laughs> escaped to where? Escaped what? I wasn't holding her against her will. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm a swinging bachelor now. Th this is fine, this is fine. I'll admit, I will miss all the potato wife jokes, and I'm kind of getting sick of losing things, right? We lost my wife, we lost the TV, we lost uncle's bed, we lost my neighbor, even though that one may or may not have been my fault. You are on loss control duty, okay? Just hang out here. If the chickens and the cow come back to life, feed them. <laughs> I can't stop losing everything, okay? I just need to get to work and let two men in. No idea who, but they should be with the SCP and then I'll move on to a better life? I, I don't know. I feel the need to point out to everybody who's watching at home and you, Mr. Barty Hitchhiker, I don't know why I keep finding him. Every time on the way to work, it's always him. <laughs> but that waste of space in the corner of my house right now isn't my mother. It was her mother. And now she's gone. She abandoned me. Possibly because I keep spending all of our money on strippers. It's all of my money. I keep spending all of my money on strippers. But now that she's gone, I don't know why I keep any of them around, to be perfectly honest. I'm not gonna lie, Gassy Hitchhiker. We have a pretty good thing going here, okay? I may hate your guts, literally, but at the same time, you pay for my gas to work every day. Which is kinda dope, right? I, I could definitely use more of that. You make me sad, but it's nothing that a bedtime beer can't fix. Now, we need to focus, okay? We got two people that we need to let in. Who? Not entirely sure. That doesn't matter. If they actually said something, I'm gonna be so upset that I missed it because I shot that person. I could probably check the footage. Maybe I should check the footage. Is that cheating? That's not cheating, right? We probably have... Probably not cameras, but I don't know, like a child in a box transcribing everything. <laughs> we gotta have some kind of security. 
All right, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is I didn't actually miss anything. I read everything she had to say. The bad news is I didn't miss anything. I read everything that she had to say, so I still don't know who I'm supposed to let in. <laughs> what could go wrong today? The source of the epidemic has been determined. Only people from Soshi have to wear masks. Don't get anybody wearing a prisoner costume. Viva Stavronska! I feel like that's an obvious, right? <laughs> no prison cosplay allowed sounds pretty reasonable. All right, well, we'll keep an eye out for that, as well as uh, Ustin with a white beard, Slava, the shadow, and uh, Galerkin Karl Vladimir, the, the idiot with three names. I need to let two important men in and oh, well, ho, ho. pass me across oh, yeah. this border. I know you. Uh. I'll kill your family. Quick check approved. If I let you across the border, will you kill my family? Because they're across. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> let me in or I'll get in and kill your family. And that's not a threat. Listen, if I could pay you to kill my family, I probably would. Um, yeah, I don't even know why I'm bothering to look at this, right? You're clearly not with SCP, and you're wearing a stupid costume, so you just go away, be gone. Here you go, see you later, crazy eyes. What are the odds these guys just roll in here wearing, like, SCP t-shirts? Or with tentacles coming out of their head, or something like that? You look weird! Hello, comrade! You with the SCP? Do you have anything to say to me? Oh, oh, he is with the SCP! Good! Okay, yeah, you're in. Sure, whatever. Don't care. Yeah, here you go. There you are. Letting That's you in. It's probably gonna cost me, but it'll be worth it in the long run. You gotta spend money to make money. Uh, two mistakes, a uh, lot of missing paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, 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 shh. I'm just happy they were gonna bother I'm identifying sure, themselves. I'm Hello, I'm coming for working. No, I'm a columnist. <laughs> How long is the validity? Two months. Lady, I can see the gun clipping through your body. <laughs> Are you kidding me, lady? No, you know what? I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna waste my time. I, I really doubt that's a legal piece. Yeah, Fred, Fred, we got a dumb one. I, I know, okay, I know, Fred. I'm looking for a wife, and I'm fine with dumb ones, but I, I can't have one with a gun in her chest, so you can just take her out back and do whatever you gotta do. Fred takes a lot of pride in his work. And I wasn't wrong either. I, I didn't even need to bother scanning her. Hey, oh, yeah. how are you doing? I work in the circus. I have a three month visa. Is that a prison outfit? I don't know. It might just be a weird clown costume. Oh, uh, Yuleshi, mm-hmm, yup, numbers look good, you got the cholera, uh, the, the cholera vaccine, you don't have the cholera. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't want to have to make this decision, circus worker, three months, I think everything is fine, right? I'm gonna scan you and hope that you have something inside you as well, no, no, it couldn't be that easy. All right, you know what? Uh, we need more circus workers in here. Yes, sure, sure, why not? Just please, please don't explode when you cross the border. Please don't cost me anything because I'm going to be making enough mistakes with the SCP guys. So, damn it! For the love of God, give me SCP guy number two. Oh, you had better be who I'm looking for. Come on. Yes, thank you. Hello, comrade. Right in time. And I don't even think you're bad person, right? You're not on the wanted list. That face looks familiar, but I think that was from a previous day. Doesn't matter, okay? You could be the worst person in the world. I would let you through right now, because I need this SCP job. When will I be hearing from you exactly? Well, hold on a second. I, I, I need some reassurance that if I let you guys through, I am going to get a call back, because this seems like our last point of contact. Strong silent type, I see. Okay, then. Well, I guess I'll let you on your way, and that is going to cost me Five credits, great. So, can I expect like an email or what? What happens now? I guess now I go home and hope to hear from them. Oh, you have got to be hitting me. Honest question, how many times is my tire blown right here in this exact same spot? If you've watched the other episodes, it's gotta be like half a dozen. 
I'm convinced that the guy that runs that store is doing something to people's tires where they're at work. And he's probably selling funny tires because that does not look right. Man, this is not what I need right now, okay? I'm waiting for a call back from BSCP. I don't even own a phone! You guys are not gonna believe this, but I am gonna run out of gas again, and I don't have enough money to buy gas. <laughs> so I am gonna stop at this dumpster, and I am going to pray <laughs> to the dumpster gods that there is gasoline in here, because we've gotten gas before, and I really need- Oh my god, it's nothing but poop! It's- it's a dumpster full of poop! <laughs> so, now I have no gas, and I'm sad! Oh my god, this episode will not get off my nuts. I can't believe this. So, do I just abandon the car? I, I, I can drive for like another few seconds, maybe. No! Don't even worry about it, guys, okay? It's only a kilometer to my house. And then two kilometers back to work because I still can't afford to buy any gas for my car. And then a kilometer back to my car to gas it back up. This is gonna take hours. I don't suppose I'd be lucky enough for you to have some gas, would I? Maybe just a little bit less poop would be great? How? If you didn't know, you can actually run in this game. You need to have energy to do that, and you use all of your energy at your day of work. So instead, you just walk through the woods at the speed of smell, just tippy-toeing your way back home. This legitimately took me like 20 plus minutes, and I'm not even a third of the way through my journey. <gasps> All because I spent $15 on medicine, okay? There, I'll say it. I actually spent money on medicine. I could have bought gasoline. I didn't think of it. I bought medicine for my stupid family because deep down inside, I'm actually a nice person. I know it's hard to believe. Maybe there's something in this dumpster. I really doubt it. It's probably gonna be full of poop. But then again, who cares, right? What do I got to lose? I got a cardboard box. Great! Uncle, take this medicine or you're going to die. And while you're at it, give me a beer. I'm literally gonna die. <laughs> I need a bedtime beer or two or four. I I'm gonna have two just in case. Hey, what do I got to lose? Yeah, where where's your daughter? Where, where, why is she helping me right now? Okay, screw it, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Please let me wake up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Okay, I was gonna say I didn't put the food in the fridge and mother-in-law died. What, does that mean game over? Uh, wake up. <laughs> well, now we know. <gasps> We're launching a legal investigation about you. We suspect there's a connection between you and a legal organization. Wait, what? You were found guilty. You're going to jail. The family was miserable. What family? They're half dead! These people stuff. This was just the perfect storm of shit. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Border Officer, guys. We were so close to getting the SCP ending. Like, if I could have just gotten to work, they would have whisked me away to their SCV palace in the sky, I guess. I don't know. If you guys want to see a final episode, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me go. I'll play through the entire thing again, get us to the final day again, and just try to stay alive. Try to make it work. Try to have a little better luck. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.